you have a new puppy? Congratulations! In this video, I'll give you tips on helping your new puppy adjust to his or her new home. If you're new to my videos, I'm Kristen Levine, and I'm the founder of the Pet Living website, where I show you how to be a better pet parent. Right, Tulip? Now, I'm gonna break these tips into two different categories, things you're gonna need and things you'll need to do. So, first up, items that you're going to need. Obviously, first thing that comes to mind is puppy food. You'll need a quality, healthy puppy food to feed your new pup until you get a chance to talk to your veterinarian about what they should be eating. You'll also need a crate and some soft, comfy bedding for your puppy. And you're probably gonna need some puppy pads too for that crate and maybe the floor too because puppies have accidents. Um, go ahead and get a baby gate. Make sure to get bowls for food and water. Uh, you're gonna need a collar. You need a collar. You need a collar, maybe a harness, and definitely a leash. And you're gonna want some safe shoes and toys for your puppy, like this one, this is her favorite. And you're gonna need some cleaning products to clean up puppy accidents. All right, next let's talk about things you'll need to do ahead of time or the day you bring your puppy home. So set up that puppy's crate, whoops, in a quiet, draft-free location so they have a nice little quiet den to get used to your home in. You'll also wanna remove any objects that are on the floor that could be harmful to your pup. For example, plants, decorative items, any small object your puppy might put in their mouth. And the best way to make sure that you've got a puppy-proof home is to literally get down on the floor at puppy's eye level uh, to see if there are any objects you missed that could potentially pose a problem where your puppy could reach it, knock it over, or put it in its mouth. Also be sure to check any shelving or TVs, anything that's attached to the wall that a puppy could possibly dislodge. Make sure they're nice and secure. And you're gonna to wanna to install that baby gate so you can keep your puppy in the part of the house that you want them to, to be in. Now do a final sweep through of the house to pick up any shoes, throw rugs, or any other items you don't want the puppy to sink his or her teeth into. Right? Because we like to do that. And then lastly, make a vet appointment for your new puppy's wellness check so you can get them started off on the right paw. Check out the link below for more detail on these tips to set you and your puppy up for success. There's also a free downloadable puppy prep checklist that, you can, uh, that you'll find helpful, I'm sure. And if you liked this video, please subscribe so that you don't miss more great pet parenting tips like